Now to a consumer alert this morning involving credit card skimmers uncovered at many gas stations across the state. In fact, from January 1st to May 22nd of this year, investigators have found more than 259 of them at gas stations across the state. 16 right here in the Jacksonville area. In fact, we've got this map that shows where state investigators found the skimmers at Jacksonville gas stations during the past month. Four devices at the 76 gas stations, or at the 76 gas station at 16th South and A1A in Jacksonville Beach. It's right across from the tennis courts there. So the question moving forward is, you've been the victim of that credit card skimmer. What do you do? How do you protect yourself? How do you protect your credit? News for Jack's reporter, Ashley Harding, joins us live from the Kangaroo gas station. It's there on Old St. Augustine Road. Ashley, this is one of the many locations right here in town where a credit card skimmer was found. Yes, Melanie and Bruce, good morning to you both. And people need to act as quickly as they find out that their information was skimmed when they get that alert. And speaking of that, just in the last 10 to 15 minutes, I spoke to two people who tell me their information was skimmed right there at that outer pump. You know, one woman actually told me she lost about $1,100. Thankfully, she was able to get it back. But gosh, what a hassle. But yes, people need to act quickly. This means they will have to get busy and get on the phone. Now, Attorney General Ashley Moody's office has laid out a step-by-step -step guide. Number one, call the fraud department of the three major credit bureaus. Ask the credit bureaus to place a fraud alert on your credit report. Also contact the fraud department of each of your creditors. Then, of course, call your bank. Now, if you believe your accounts have been compromised, cancel your checking and savings accounts and get new account numbers. Now, you should also file a complaint with the Federal Trade Commission's Identity Theft Clearinghouse. Complaint information is added to a database where it can be added accessed by local and state police. You're also advised to call the fraud hotline number 1-866-9-NO-SCAM. We cannot say this enough. There are things you can do to avoid being scammed at the pump. Examine the pump. Look for any signs of tampering. Use cash or a credit card instead of a debit card. Also pay inside. Choose pumps closest to the building in sight of the attendant. And also check your credit card statements and sign up for fraud alerts. Once again, you need to act as quickly as possible. That really is one of the best ways to protect yourself. Act as quickly as possible and do those tips, of course, which we're putting on newsforjax.com. Reporting live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.